welcome. Nice to meet you here on the yoga mat. This practice I dedicate to all the Turkish women I met in big gratitude of their unbelievable, big, huge generosity. And sometimes I was able to give a little bit back through teaching a little bit of yoga. And I promised some of you that I re would record a beginner's version of the sun salutation so you can practice at home. And I so much wish you will, because I saw with many women in Turkey that they were kind of hungry for caring for themselves and getting into this momentum of Wow, really being in the body, feeling the body. So all you are so welcome. And please, if anything is too much for you, just do less. It's absolutely fine to do only one round to lay on the ground in between. Just always listen more to your body than to my words. So the invitation is to stand at the beginning of your mat and before we start with the sun salutation just give your body a little shake and i hope this sounds okay i couldn't untangle my microphone cable this morning and so i'm without a mic but i hope you can hear me well so if we do the sun salutation it's quite good to warm up just a little bit if you shake your body you can shake from your pelvis Ah, it's really good to open your mouth to make sounds. It's really allowing sounds to come through whatever sounds allowing the breath to breathe however it wants to breathe. Ah, you can also jump and make your arms like really empty and jump kind of in your pelvis. Ah. Ah. Or shake again, however you wish. It's kind of a bit breaking through our, or letting melt our conventional habits, also the body habits, the body movements and patterns. And then just moving your body however you want to move your body. And that can be really anything, like you could start with your hip, allowing the arms to move, the head to move. So when my students ask me what is the best practice for them to do in the morning, I recommend like five minutes of free intuitive movement uh, and allowing the breath to come through. Uh, I believe this can change our life. It will change our life when we just give our body to be moved however it wants to be moved and not what we think how it should be moved. Ah, uh, that can be really anything. Ah. Uh, and then we can roll the head like over the front. You can bring your right ear towards your right shoulder and the chin towards your chest, the left ear towards your left shoulder. You can do that also very slow in connection to your breathing, like inhale, turning your head to the right side, uh, relaxing your shoulders and exhale, turning your head to the other side.
and then bringing your head up again and gently rolling your shoulders back and don't strain your shoulders here just allowing space and freedom in the center of your shoulders so it's soft the movement and relaxing with your shoulders down and allowing your pelvis to drop down you can imagine your tailbone drops down towards your heels mm. maybe sensing a bit the back of your body and the space behind the back of your body sensing into the space behind your head sensing into the space behind your back and your legs and allowing your breath to move you however it wants to move you. And then if you're not already there, come to the beginning of your mat you probably are already there and we start our first round and there are like 10,000 ways to do sun salutation so this is just one option I offer you today <clears throat> bring your hands in front of your chest and feeling like feeling how the air is coming together between your hands and how the hands are touching rising up your arms remembering your tailbone dropping down towards the earth making yourself just long just simply long and then you make this kind of huge shaped arms I call them cactus arms as well and you can drop your shoulder blades back next to your spine and the head is carried like it's stable your head chest is open and the lower back is really long and heavy and then you bend your knees and fill your pelvic area and release your chest down forward the back will follow bringing your fingertips in one line with your toes shoulders are rolling a bit back from the head the head can drop down and the knees are slightly bent or a lot bent and then you bring your right leg back bringing your knee to the ground stretching out your right foot looking up here and the shoulders coming again back from away from your ears and from here you have two options one option is to just bring your left knee towards the right knee and the other option is to straighten the right leg and lift up your pelvis a bit, if you do, uh, your pelvic floor. If you don't know how to lift up your pelvic floor, you kind of pull in a little bit your lower belly. And bring your left foot next to the right foot. So this is called plank pose. The heels are reaching into the space behind them. The shoulders are away from the ears. The pelvic floor is activated, the lower belly is pulled in a little bit just to protect our organs here in our back. The chest bone is long and wide. And from here you can drop down your knees if they are not already down, straighten your feet and come laying on your belly. Rolling back your shoulders, the hands are under your chest and the lower back is really long you can imagine the tailbone growing to your heels and from here lifting your pelvic floor and lifting your head and your chest the shoulders are away from your ears and the elbows they're really close to your body so i think it's really beneficial when you make your lower back as long as possible from here 
Again, pulling in the pelvic floor or your lower belly. Coming on all fours. Bring your toes on the ground and kind of, I have to say that, how sweeping your hands and your feet into the ground and raising up. And from here you can walk a bit your toes on one spot, like bend one knee, knee keep the other knee straight. This is called mountain pose for some people. It's called dog position for others or however you want to call it. There are many names for that. And you can bend your both knees here. You really want to have your back straight rather than trying to bring your legs anywhere or your feet. And then dropping down your left knee and bringing the right foot forward between your hands. Looking up again, shoulders away from your ears. Bringing your left foot next to the right foot. Bending your knees, keeping your spine long. And then kind of, uh, how to say, um, let float your knees under your pelvis and over your feet. So you're rising up. Arms going up, hands are meeting each other, and bring your hands again in front of your chest and release your arms. I tell you the next half round, that was half a round, um, together with an invitation how you can breathe. And of course you follow your own breathing if you don't feel comfortable with what I offer you. Inhale. Exhale, bringing your hands together in front of your chest. The hands can be a bit away from your chest and the elbows out to the side. Inhale, lower back is really long, like, whoa, heavy. Inhale, rising up your arms, feeling your body between earth and sky. And opening your chest. The shoulder blades are dropping down next to your spine. The head is good protected here. Chest open and lower back is long and heavy. Exhale, bending your knees and filling your pelvic area, your bottom and releasing your chest down towards the ground. The fingertips are in one line with your toes and bend your knees here. Inhale, bring your left leg back, the knee to the ground, the foot is flat, head goes up, shoulders away from your ears. Holding your breath here if you can, either bring the right knee towards your left knee or straighten the left leg and bring the right leg next to the left one. And you really want to protect your center here. Like if you don't know how to feel your pelvic floor, I really can recommend um, caring for your pelvic floor, getting to know it. So one thing you can do is to really pull in your lower belly up, rolling up your pelvic floor towards your head. Shoulders away from the ears, heels are rising back. The chest bone is open and wide. Exhale, knees, chest, forehead down to the ground and making your lower back long as if you want to bring the tailbone towards your pubic bone and the pubic bone towards your belly button. Hands under your shoulders, elbows close to your body. Inhale, rising up your head and your chest. Elbows staying close to your body and the shoulders away from your ears. And it may be that you just want to raise a little bit. You really want to keep your lower back long. The sitting bones are relating to the feet. Exhale, bring the pelvic floor in. Coming on all fours, bringing your toes down to the ground, kind of melting your hands and your feet into the ground while rising up. And I personally, I always bring my feet a little bit closer to my body just feel what's right for you you can walk on the spot here a little bit bending one knee after the other 
and you want to open their spine. There are so many nerves here. An energy channel. The susum, susumna nadi, we call it. So when both legs are kind of straight, like really care for your back, the shoulders want to roll back from your ears. And then inhale, you have two options. Either you bring your right knee first to the ground and bring the left foot next to your, in between your hands. Or you, if that's an option for you, you can just bring your left foot next to your hands, in between your hands and drop down the right knee, making your foot long. Exhale, bringing the right foot next to the left one, keeping the spine straight and kind of filling into your pelvic cave here, I call it, like the whole area of the pelvis. And dropping down your pelvis, allowing the knees to melt under your pelvis, over your feet, raising up the arms, over the side, up, hand, palms of the hands are meeting each other, and exhale the hands down in front of your chest and releasing your arms. So we do one more round. Inhale. Exhale, bringing your hands together in front of your chest. Inhale, raising your arms up and opening your chest here. Shoulder blades are dropping down next to the spine. Exhale, bending your knees, melting your chest forwards, head, head melts down. Inhale, bringing the right leg back, knees goes to the ground, foot is flat, head goes up. Holding the breath here, bringing the left leg next to the right one. Maybe you want to have your knees on the ground. Remember your pelvic floor, remember the lower belly. Exhale, knees, chest, and the forehead goes down. Hands are under your shoulders, elbows close to the body, and the lower back long. Inhale, with an activated pelvic floor, rise up your head and your chest. Exhale, melting into the ground while rising up into all fours, bringing your toes on the ground and making this little roof here. Inhale, bring your right foot between your hands, bring your left knee down and make your left foot long, head goes up. So again here, you can bring the left knee down first and then bring your foot between your hands. It's much easier. Exhale, bringing your left foot next to the right one. Making your spine long and rising up with a long spine. Inhale, arms over the side, arms go up. And exhale, hands in front of your chest and releasing your arms. Inhale and exhale, bring the palms together in front of your chest. Inhale, arms are going up and you bend your elbows, shoulder blades dropping back, lower back is long and strong. Exhale, melting your knees, melting your chest, coming forward and down. <clears throat> Fingertips are in one line with your toes. Knees are bent. Inhale, bringing the left leg back, wide back. Knees to the ground, foot is flat, head goes up. Holding the breath, either bring your right knee next to the left knee or straightening the left leg, bringing the right leg next to the left one. Exhale, knee chest and forehead go to the ground. Hands are under your shoulders. Fingertips are under the beginning of your shoulders. Lower back is long. Inhale, rising up your head and your chest. 
exhale, pushing into the earth, letting go into the earth, rising up and melting your hands and your toes in the ground to the downward facing dog. Inhale, right, either bring your right knee to the ground and the left foot between your hands here and you really want to have the heel under your knee or from the downward facing dog you bring immediately the left foot back and then drop right knee down and the foot flat exhale right foot next to the left one inhale long back and the arms are rising up over the side lower back drops down and exhale the hands in front of your chest and relaxing your arm. Closing your eyes for a moment and just feeling your body, just feeling your breath however it's moving you at this very moment. And you could <clears throat> straighten out your arms and roll back your shoulders into your body, bending your knees and sitting back, sitting back into the pelvis cape here. And come down and roll down over the side. That's how you can go down to a laying position and can rising up again. Healthy for your back. Coming, laying on your back, straightening out your legs, <clears throat> straightening your arms, relaxing your arms so there is space in your armpits. The legs are more than hip wide apart. Dropping down your chest bone into the space between your shoulder blades. Maybe you want to make micro movements with your head. And staying here, laying down, you can cover yourself with a blanket. Make sure you are like super duper comfortable. So maybe you want to even lay on your side or your belly just feeling into your body just feeling the sensations in your body and allowing everything which is rising up in your body and your mind your belly and your heart to just be as it is allowing your body to feel how it feels Allowing the mind to do all its stuff. Mostly it's just thinking. And allowing yourself to drop down into the earth and feel a, the silent space around your body. So the invitation is to stay here at least five more minutes while I'm going up to my tent and make breakfast for my children here in Latvia. And yeah, do that practice just as often as you can, as you can involve it easily into your day. And from there you can go further and make variations and just 
go into a deeper exploration of the field of the body and mind. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining. Take good care of yourself. Stay close to your heart and go slowly and gentle. Bye bye.